I'm from North Tulsa, 51st in Peoria, 51, Nitty Baby. Growing up in the nitty, on my granny, you know, to be honest with you, it's hard. You know, you really got to get out. You live. You know, you got, you got things distracting. You know, it's kind of hard because it's like you broke, and you start growing up, and you like, man, I don't want to be broke no more. And you know, you seeing your parents struggle, and you start being rebellious. Like I'm tired of struggling. You feel what I'm saying? So you just got to get out. You live. You might fall in the wrong crowds. Uh, you might end up gang banging. You might end up taking. You know what I mean? You might end up robbing. You might end up taking the right road, you feel what I'm saying? But it's really up to you. How they expect us to live? We already did. Cornmill. Like nitty shit. Just a hallucination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real nitty shit. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Whichever which way I'm going, I'm no, thug. Fuck I be with them thug niggas. Every one of them niggas. Myself, personally, I don't, I don't bang. But you know, all my niggas do. So you know, I'm tied to the game. And then, you know, I just threw the 5-1 in there because, you know, 51st in Peoria. Just because it was just convenient. Just the T and the I, just the 5 and the 1, things like that. And then Joan, you know, I'm a junior. So uh, I just threw that June up in there also. I always knew that I had talent in multiple areas. I just didn't know which path I wanted to take. You know, I could hoop. I could uh, rap. I could draw. You know what I mean? I could do a lot of shit. But, like, me personally, I struggle with it figuring out what I wanted to do. I also struggled with like, you know, I had depression, PTSD, you feel what I'm saying? A lot of shit like that, you know, just mental shit that I just had to overcome myself. It's all mental, it's all in your head. If you want to be mad, you're going to be mad every day. If you want to be happy, you're going to be happy one day. If you want to be sad, you're going to be sad one day. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you got to just break that bar barrier down in your head and just realize like, hey, nah, I ain't about to be mad no more. That's really what I, you know, stress, you know, struggle with when I was younger. Keep it all dollar. I still kind of struggle with it, but you know, I'm working on it. I'm my mom. You know, I was uh, walking to the store with my mama. I'm walking with, I'm probably like five years old, you know, young, young, you know, barely, barely an age where I can even do anything, you know what I mean? I'm walking to the store, uh, you know, some niggas come out of nowhere. I don't know who they is, you know, I'm thinking they on some like, hey, hey, what's up with you, such and such, such and such, whoop de whoop, you know what I'm saying? But uh, they come out of nowhere. My mama, like, she look at me and I just lean, look in the eyes. I'm like, what's up? You feel what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? And then next thing you know, just ran, ran up on my mama and just, you feel what I'm saying? Duffel bagged her, you know what I mean? Just socked her. And it's like, them niggas just start jumping on my mama. You feel what I'm saying? Real spill. I'm trying to fight, trying to fight the niggas off. My mama on the ground screaming, you know what I mean? These niggas, you know what I mean? Like these niggas, that's just, man, I, I, I low-key can't even talk about it just because that's really, that was a, a moment that really affected me. You know what I mean? I know why I just nigga around this motherfucker. No matter how much so I know one thing. My that's mama, the, I don't know I'm shit. Up, same car, same My room. biggest point I'm trying to get across is that anybody that's going through pain, I feel y'all. You feel what I'm saying? I feel everybody. They got a, a backstory, going through pain. You feel what I'm saying? Got somebody that they lost. You know what I mean? Depressed. You know what I mean? In the dark, in the dark area. I want to let you know, like, hey, I've been there. I'm still there, and I'm still doing something progressive that's making me feel better about it. So if you find your passion, you can do that same thing, and it's gonna help you. I promise you, you gotta help others just as much as you help yourself. I find the strength to do what I gotta do every day. Every time I look into my family, when I look into my mama eyes, when I look into my other mama eyes, when I look into my pop's eyes, you know what I mean? My brothers and sisters, my girl, you know, I got family depending on me. I can't let them down, you know what I mean? I look, you know, I think about my grandma, you know what I mean? All she said is, if I don't do nothing, stay true and be successful, you feel what I'm saying? And that's what I'm trying to do. That's what gave me strength. I feel like I'm about to fall and everything like that. Shit, that's all I think about is what my, what my granny say, you know what I mean? That's what gave me my strength. Just thinking about my unborn children and my family and my granny. That's what gave me my strength. Gangsta music. 
that a young nigga put his pain I feel like Michael Jackson back in 87. But with the same complexion in my favorite. I know my calling is to drop knowledge, you feel what I'm saying? And to teach my generation, because you know, I'm young, I'm only 20, because it ain't a lot of people in my generation that's being honest, you feel what I'm saying? Bubblegum rapping or bubblegum talking, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like my calling is to drop knowledge and let people know what's real and what they can do and what they can't do, what you need to do and what you don't need to do. That's my calling. To also help people that's struggling and that's feeling pain, you know, help them know that it's a way that you can handle that and it's gonna be all right. And you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get up out that, out that rut one day, for real. And that's my call, on G. Everybody at war with different things. I'm at war with my own heart sometimes. Tupac Shakur.